Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your man, David, down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2015 Ram 1500 SLT in bright white, powered by the Hemi. 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a quad cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back. Come to the front here, you'll have halogen headlamps lighting up the road in front of you. Running lights are right there, and those are also the high beams. Turn signals right there. Crosshairs grill in the front. You know it's a Ram when you see it, but it's all chrome and it looks sharp. There's two tow hooks on the front bumper along with two fog lamps. Front and rear bumpers are chrome. Come to the side here, you'll see a running board. There are running boards on both sides of this truck, which makes it that much easier to get inside. It is chrome and this does have chrome door handles on the outside on all four doors. This truck is running on 20 inch rims. They are alloy rims and this has four wheel disc brakes all around and the tires are Bridgestone Dooler mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on there. You'll surely have lots of traction. Both driver and passenger side door mirrors are breakaway and they are heated mirrors as well open up the driver's side door here all right two-toned colored door panels throughout there's storage down below with two cup holders storage in the middle nice place for an arm right here this has power mirrors power windows power locks with window lock driver and passenger side windows up front are automatic this has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it that has a dimmer knob that button there will turn on the fog lights and there's a directional air vent right here, which you can close and open. Handle right here so you, the driver, can easily get inside this truck. This has a leather wrapped steering wheel. Feels great in your hands. Is a tilt steering wheel too. Driver's seat is fully powered with lumbar support. This does have cloth seats throughout. Adjustable headrests on the front seats. And this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall of a person you are, you can adjust the seatbelt height so you're most comfortable inside this Ram 1500. Nice materials in the middle here for arms to rest on. There's a nice Ram badge right there. Grab this chrome handle, open this up. There's a manual right here. There is a change holder. And there's also a USB port, an auxiliary port, and an SD card port connected to media. Put anything into those areas and you can listen to music through the speakers. And there's another USB port right there. And if you have cords coming out of here, run them along the sides. So when you close the lid, it doesn't crush your cords. Grab a lower. There's an even larger storage area down here. There's also a CD player and there's a ledge there for some pens. There's two big cup holders in the middle there. There is a 12 volt DC power outlet, a cell phone holder, even more storage space and another little storage spot down below there. And this does have an auto dimming rear view mirror. Let's go check out the back seat area. Now, these doors open up nice and wide for easy access into the back seat area. Nice place for an arm right here, power window switch, convenience handle so passengers can easily get in back here. There's tons of foot room back here, along with plenty of headroom. Hooks up top, so if you wanna hang out nice clothing, go ahead, hang them up, so your clothes don't get all wrinkled. Adjustable headrest in the back seats too. You can turn on the interior lamp just by pushing this in like that, and it'll turn off again by pushing again. But it's on right now because the door is opened. And there's two big cup holders down below here in the middle, along with a 12 volt DC power outlet and a nice Ram badge. And there's a pocket on the back of the driver's seat right here. The seats do flip up like so. And there is a fold out gate. So you put things underneath or on top for storage and it easily flips back like so. And there's even more storage space underneath here. And if you need to put a license plate on the front of this truck, go ahead. There's a holder right there, which you can mount. And there's a clip here so you can secure this up. There you go. It is now secure and the seat easily comes down just like that. There are dual exhaust tips out the back with chrome around them. Those dots on the back bumper are rear park sense parking sensors. Spot for a trailer hitch down below here with connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this Ram 1500. 
Nice badging, the ramp badge, SLT badge, 4x4 badge, looking good. Backup camera is built into the tailgate handle right here. Open up the tailgate. There's hooks in all four corners, so you tighten any loads so you don't lose it when you're driving down the highway. And the box lights are just up there. This is a locking tailgate. Press the lock button on the key fob. All four doors will lock, including the tailgate. Come to the other side here. All right, nice place for an arm, power window switch, convenience handle, park on the back of the passenger seat. The side flips up like so too. And of course, there's a fold out gate here. So you put things underneath or on top for storage. And there's two cutouts for the cup holders in the middle, which I think is a very clever touch. Easily folds back. And underneath here, there's even more storage space. And of course, a clip here so you can secure it. It easily comes down just like that. Front passenger side here, storage down below with two big cup holders, storage in the middle, power locks, power window switch, nice place for an arm, great style, ramp badge there. Passenger seat is manual adjustment and underneath the passenger seat are the tire change tools which allows for easy access. There's airbags built into the front seats, there's side curtain airbags, driver and passenger side airbags and more when it comes to safety. And there's a lower glove box here, some goodies in there for you. And there's an upper glove box here with a convenience light. Spot for some pens or packs of gum, directional air vent, which you can close and open. And of course, the convenience handle here for the front passenger. And there's a pocket on the side of the middle console right here. And of course, there is one on the other side too. Let's hop inside and take a closer look right now. This is the key fob. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button on it. And a nice RAM badge on the back. And this also has aftermarket remote start. So in the winter time, you can remote start this Ram 1500 so it can be warm and ready to go when you want to leave your house. So you're not like stuck sitting in a cold truck waiting for it to warm up. You can just hop inside, it'll be warm for you, and then you can leave. And using this key fob here, all you got to do is push it into the ignition like so. All you got to do is turn it. And that starts up the Ram 1500. Check out the gauges. Don't they just look nice? There's a LCD driver information center screen in the middle and it looks very good. And this truck only has 39,305 kilometers on it. Not too bad. Definitely come book a test drive soon. This truck does have cylinder deactivation. So if you're cruising on the highway, it'll actually only use four cylinders instead of all eight, which is really neat. And using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, we can go through the driver information center screen. The first thing you'll see is that there's a digital speedometer, which you can change the miles per hour if you're going to the States. Vehicle info area here tells you tire pressures for all four tires, tells you transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life, full on gauge summary, engine hours, and back to your tire pressures. Fuel economy area lets you know your current liters per 100 kilometers, your average liters per 100 kilometers, and your fuel range on your tank of fuel. Hold the button here and you easily reset your average liters per 100 kilometers. Trip A calculator and there's a trip B calculator. Both of them tell you how far you've driven, your average fuel economy, your average vehicle speed, and the time of driving for. Just hold the button here and you can easily reset one or both of those. Trailer tow area lets you know what the gain's set at. Audio center lets you know what's playing on your media. Message center in case the Ram 1500 wants to tell you something. Screen set up here, so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own. There's some blank spaces down here, but there's an outside thermometer and a compass. You can have different things set in all four corners, so you can do that in the screen setup right there. And back to the digital speedometer. And if you open up any door on this truck, it will let you know which door on the truck is open. There's a nice big grab badge in the middle here with, of course, a horn. It is a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right with your gear selection buttons right there. This does have voice recognition. Cancel. Cancel. Using voice recognition, you can set the temperature on the climate control to a certain degree, which is really cool that you can do that with your voice. And you can answer calls that come through Bluetooth with this button right here. Down here, you have your push button four wheel drive, handy to have in the winter time. This is a trailer brake controller, traction control, tow slash haul mode, heated seats up front, and there's two settings for both. This also has a heated steering wheel, 115 volt AC power outlet right there, another spot for some pens or packs of gum, 
directional air vents right here, which you can easily adjust and you can close and open these. Nice RAM badge right here, a little spot for some things. Programmable garage door opener right there. Switch for the rear sliding windows to so easily open that up. And reading lamps up top here. Fold down sun visors with convenience mirrors, with convenience lights. These sun visors are breakaway and they do slide out for you. And there's tons of visibility out the front window. And this does have a rotary style gear shifter. If I throw this truck into reverse, that shows up the rear parking sensors on the screen here. So you get close to an object as you're backing up. I'll show you on the screen here how close you're getting to an object. And the closer you're getting to the object, you'll hear audible beeps to warn you that you're coming close to something. And the back of camera appears on the touchscreen new connect system here, giving you a great view of what's behind you. And if I turn the wheel, it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up. And you can turn off the park sense rear parking sensors just by pressing that button there and it'll warn you on the driver information center that you just turned off the sensors. Fantastic. This does have dual climate control with the auto feature which allows the Ram 1500 to adjust your climate control for you. Driver's temperature, passenger temperature, air conditioning, recirculate button, front defrost. This button here will turn on the heated mirrors. Adjust your fan speed with this knob right here. Turn it off, turn on the auto feature. Tuning knob, browse button for your media here. Back button to help you guide through your system. Hazards, turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it. Touch with your finger, it comes back on. And it's the volume knob and a mute button. And here is a touch screen Uconnect system. This has AM FM radio and Sirius XM. You can easily direct tune into a specific radio station just like this. You can adjust your audio, balance fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, auxiliary volume, offset, and more. The info bar up top tells you outside temperature. There's a compass there, the time, and what temperatures are set at for both dual clamp control. And it tells you the song and the artist in the middle of the screen here. If I turn up the volume, great sound quality through speakers. Not bad. Love it. Turn it back down just like this. And media button here. So if you have something plugged into the USB port, the auxiliary port, the SD card port, or a CD in the CD player, or a Bluetooth device connected, go to the media area here and you can listen to music through those areas. Touch screen controls for the heated seats, the heated steering wheel, and you have a mirror dimmer there too. Touch screen climate control here, easily adjust where you want the air to go, adjust your fan speed, you can unsync and see the temperatures, set the temperature with just your finger and more. Bluetooth area here, pair phone, make hands-free calls, you can pair more than one device, everything you do on your phone, make a call, you do hands-free on the touchscreen Uconnect system here. Settings for the Ram 1500 and the Uconnect system here, so you can customize this truck and have it the way that you want it to be. Very nice. This Ram 1500 has a very well laid out interior. All the controls are very easy to use. Visibility out all the windows is fantastic. And the seats are very comfortable. Definitely come and see it in person soon. It's the 2015 Ram 1500 SLT in bright white powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a quad cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back, it has two tow hooks on the front bumper. Park sense rear parking sensors with a backup camera, touchscreen Uconnect system, and more. Come and see if this is going to be your next truck. I'm Man David, and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.